people of the internet welcome back to yet another fantastic FNAF news video because in today's video we've gotten a whole bunch of news and updates in regards to the second FNAF movie we've gotten the official and exact release date of when we can expect to sit our butts down in a theater and watch Freddy Fazbear again up on the big screen we've also gotten what is most likely our first glimpse at some plot points for the second film in the form of an official tagline for the movie as well as some teasers from the official FNAF movie accounts as well as Matthew Lillard who plays William Afton. So because we have so much FNAF movie news to talk about, let's not waste any more time. Scroll down, tickle that sub button if you're not subscribed. We are almost at 100,000 subs. But let's just hop right into the news. A couple days ago on May 16th was the one year anniversary of us getting the first FNAF movie poster and teaser trailer. Absolutely surreal that one year has already passed from us getting our first official glimpse at this film. And whether Blumhouse was planning it or not, that day, May 16th, was the day we got just a whole bunch bunch of updates on FNAF 2. Because later that day, Blumhouse released a whole bunch of brand new release dates for some of their upcoming movies and sequels. With sources like Variety reporting, Universal added several Blumhouse titles to its release calendar, including The Woman in the Yard, set for March 28th of 2025, and Drop, set for April 11th of 2025. And then they revealed some release dates for some of their most anticipated sequel films, those being a slight delay with Megan 2.0, which was originally supposed to release on May 16th of 2025. 25, but got pushed back to June 27th. The Black Phone 2 also got slightly delayed from June 27th of 2025 to October 17th of 2025. And that of course brings us to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which officially releases in theaters on December 5th of 2025. So not quite fall 2025 like Universal and Blumhouse revealed at CinemaCon not too long ago. Seems like they wanted just a bit more time to work on the movie, which I will not complain about at all. Please take as much time as you need as long as it's not delayed eight years like the first movie, please, by all means, make this film as good as it possibly can be. Though Variety does continue on to say the studio hasn't clarified who is returning for FNAF 2, but they did share this new tagline. Anyone can survive five nights. This time, there will be no second chances. So... I mean, based on that tagline, it seems like some main character is going to get killed off in FNAF 2. So going down the list, I think we can pretty safely rule out Mike and William Afton. Both of them are like the real main characters, and we do know for a fact that they're making at least three FNAF movies. So I think it's pretty safe to say that they're safe unless they are referring to William Afton dying and then possessing Springtrap, but I feel like that's a bit of a cop-out. As for Abby... I'd be very intrigued to see if she lives. I personally would love for her to live. I love Piper Rubio's acting. Her chemistry with every other cast and crew member is fantastic. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized, I mean, that's Mike losing his final real family member, right? If I was Mike, that would snap something inside of me that if he's not already fully snapped. And I mean, I feel like that can make for some pretty interesting dynamics between him and William Afton come the third film. But if I had to pick one character who I think they're talking about with this tagline, I think I gotta go with Vanessa. As much as I love Elizabeth Lale's portrayal of Vanessa in the first movie, it's no surprise that her character was just not hitting well with any form of audience. We've already had the big plot twist that she's connected to William. They've already had their standoff and encounter at the end of the first movie. Trying to stop her father from murdering more people. Like, I feel like they've already gone through a pretty substantial arc with Vanessa just based on the first movie alone. I think if we're right about our speculation that the second FNAF movie is going to have a lot of flashbacks with William and probably Henry. Because don't forget, when we got the news that filming reportedly starts in October, October, it was also revealed that they're looking for a new major male role that currently a lot of people are thinking is Henry. So if we do get those flashbacks about William's past, I mean, that's going to revolve around Vanessa a lot, I'd assume. And I feel like that kind of completes her story. But those are just my bets, right? I, as much as I would like for no one to die, it seems like they're setting up some major stakes for some character to unfortunately be killed off. I'd love to know, who do you think it's going to be? But touching a bit upon that December release date, I personally was pretty surprised that they didn't go for October or November around Halloween time. You know, a horror movie in October, November is very fitting. You know, it works well with the Halloween season. It worked well for the first FNAF movie. It seems like they do just want to make sure they have enough time to properly work on the film and make it good, which again, I won't complain about. I don't necessarily think because it's releasing in December, it'll be a Christmas or winter themed horror film. And also, we should take into account other films releasing in December 2025. While I don't think a brand new SpongeBob movie will take away many ticket sales from FNAF 2, Avatar 3 definitely, 
definitely will. Avatar 1 and Avatar 2 The Way of Water are like in the top three highest grossing films of all time, each earning like two billion dollars at the box office each, so that's a pretty packed month. I would not be surprised if eventually FNAF 2 gets delayed out of December, probably to January. But moving on to some brand new teasers, we got an official teaser video for the release date, very simple from the official FNAF movie Instagram account. It's just the neon sign for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place with the date December 5th, 2025. And the tagline says clock back in. Now, I don't necessarily think that this teaser means we're going to the same pizzeria. We know they're still very early in development with the FNAF 2 movie. Like I said, they don't film until the end of this year in October. So I personally wouldn't take the inclusion of the FNAF 1 movie's pizzeria sign as too much of a hint to what's going on. I'm sure at some point we will return to the abandoned, desolate FNAF 1 pizzeria, probably to find the now destroyed FNAF 1 animatronics that'll probably resemble the Withers, but that's just speculation on my part. Again, I do think they're going to have some FNAF 2 grand reopening pizzeria that someone else is going to open for the second movie. But again, all speculation. Getting back to the official teasers, we got... <laughs> we got this. Quite the way to announce you're returning for FNAF 2, we got Matthew Lillard, who of course plays William Afton, Steve Raglan, the Yellow Rabbit, Spring Bonnie, whatever you want to call him, Purple Guy. He took to Instagram posing alongside the Scooby-Doo puppet from the live-action Scooby-Doo movies that Lillard was a part of. He played Shaggy. And in the caption, it reads, December 2025, I always come back. It's a pretty solid confirmation. He's coming back. William Afton is coming back. I think we all knew that. Not too much of a big surprise here. Though a lot of people did point out that the suit he's wearing, the Spring Bonnie suit, appears to be an early version of the Spring Bonnie Yellow Rabbit costume. Most likely from that early rated R script for the first FNAF movie because you can see a bit more of his insides, his intestines. Probably the same one we got leaked to us before we even got the trailer for FNAF 1. If you guys remember that leak, that was massive. I'd assume this is the same costume. But rapid firing through some movie news, if you do reply to to the Instagram account for the official FNAF movie. You'll get Freddy Fazbear himself sliding into your DMs. He'll give you a personalized video. He'll give you some Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place security footage. Nothing too major. It is just footage from the first film. But you'll also get your very own FNAF security badge. Some more quickfire news. Blumhouse Games is going to be making their debut appearance at Summer Game Fest this June. And yeah, you heard that correctly. Blumhouse is making video games. In February of last year, they created a brand new subsidiary called Blumhouse Games, which has been dead quiet since its announcement. Not a single shred of news on what they're working on, but it seems like come this June, we'll find out what exactly they are working on. Now, I should preface, we don't know if it's FNAF. I just thought I'd mention it here. Blumhouse does own many, many other popular IPs. It could be one of those. It could be something original. Maybe it could be FNAF. We don't know. But if more news comes out and it does seem like it's teasing something FNAF related, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And just to end out this video, let's wrap up some of the previous FNAF 2 movie news we've gotten in case you missed it. This is our first look at Jim Henson's Creature shop working on the animatronic characters for the second FNAF movie. You can see this lovely fellow is working on a model for the mangle. Of course, this is not the full scale of the mangle. They're just small miniature models so they know how the character is going to look like, how they're going to be operated. Off to the left, you can see parts of Toy Bunny as well. His ears and feet, torso, even his nose. And then for cameos, recently Map had addressed whether or not he'd have a cameo in the second FNAF movie. Will I be in the new FNAF movie? I don't know. Time will tell. My schedule's open, Scott. Not really confirming or denying whether or not he will be included, but it does seem like he's interested. It looks like he's got his schedule open now. But a cameo a lot of people are much anticipating is Markiplier, the king of FNAF himself. You may recall that previously he did reveal that he was going to be in the FNAF movie playing Bob, the security guard we see at the start of the movie. But since he was filming, directing, and acting in his own movie Iron Lung at the time, the schedules just did not work out. Scott did leave a comment on Mark's video saying that hopefully they can get him in some future FNAF movie. And well, the other day Mark did reveal that Iron Lung is officially finished. So hopefully by the time filming comes around in October, our King of FNAF is up for it. But that's going to do it for all the FNAF 2 movie news. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side. I forgot my outro. I just need to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>